So welcome back. So officially we have our castle or one of the outposts of a castle. And what we're going to do basically is we're going to make more castles as well as pretty much just pan across with using the camera. And if you remember before we were working with the camera in previous tutorial and we were using the camera in a 2D aspect where we only go forward, backward, and side to side. But this time we're actually going to do some rotation. So I hope you're looking forward to that. So we have our castle or any other object you might use. Could be a dice. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make more castles. So here's what I do. I copy this. Copy the selected module. Pay special. Do all that I need to do. Check that my stuff is okay. Press OK. Add this castle there. And we're pretty much gonna do that two more times. So pay special again. Right, so right now we have two castles. Add a third one. And then we're gonna do one more. So we add that to the composite. And using the pegs, we're just going to rearrange where they are from the top view. So let's get through with this. So network view, castle one. Okay, let's move castle two and castle three. So we go to the top view and we kind of just Move this down a bit. Whoops. Let me do that again. I'll just do them one by one. So I'll move this here. Top view again. And the last one. So we kind of have it looking like this. And if you notice over here, we kind of have, well, <laughs> it's showing three castles now. But perspective wise, this is what you should be seeing. All four castles at their posts. Could even make a castle or a wall going around this. So that would be kind of cool if you're into constructing something that complex. Just know that the more resources you have on your area, it's going to take a lot more processing to do. So we've made our four castles with duplications. And so now what I'm going to do is add a camera. Real simple. Just click on the plus over here. Choose camera. We have our camera and we add a peg to it. And so, what I'm going to do is edit my camera peg so that I enable its 3D. And I just close that. Forgive my voice, you know. <clears throat> I'm up quite a bit late, so I kind of really want to go to bed now. It's my bed voice or my waking up voice. It's going to get more groggy as time goes till I wake up. Probably in the next three hours. Alright, so got our camera. Got. So we kind of want to extend our frames so that we kind of have an animation going on. So. 
it's actually extended already because I did it for the first one. So all four of these castles have an extension up to 200 frames. Now all I have to do really is manipulate my camera and I'll be good to go. So let's get to our camera layer. So we're here, we had a keyframe and I will go to my top view so I can see where my camera is. So I kind of just put this over like so. Alright, and now I'm going to rotate it. So I could do something like, say, looking at them from this angle. And I could come, say, at 100 and add another keyframe right here. And just move my camera using a translate tool, probably over here. Only this time I'll be rotating it forward. And then at 200, I want it to be another keyframe, except it'll be rotated this way and translated somewhat over here. No, this kind of looks kind of weird, so I'm going to have to rearrange my composite so this doesn't show in front while it's supposed to be behind so back to my network and I'm just gonna mess around and see what happens so we got this castle this castle so this castle should be closer up front so it's been set and Based on my top view, I'll scrub through this and see what this looks like. So what I'm going to do now is check out my render view, just see what it looks like. And you'll see that it just shows me a castle in a black background. Like I said before, by default, your render view background is black. So I'm just going to render this just so we can see what it looks like once it's finished. So here we go. Rendering. Yes, I'd like to render them again. So you won't have to wait as long as I do. So give me a few seconds. So we're almost done. Last frame and rendered. So it's gonna load up the frames in its player and you kinda get a view of what it all looks like. So as you can see it's rendering. And that's it. what it would look like on a 3D kind of thing. So, let's just play this out. Hope you enjoy. So, play. So that's how you do the 3D thing. So thanks for watching. If you don't understand something, please leave your comments below and feel free to message me too. I will try to answer everyone. I've been doing that so far. So I don't want to really leave anyone out. If they have questions to ask. So thanks for watching and get some sleep because I'm about to do the same. Take care, and God bless you. Remember to pray before you go to bed, or when you leave out. Bye.